Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really easy Halloween treat bag using panel squares. Now first, you wanna go ahead and get our free pattern off our website under the free pattern link, print it out. It's gonna be two pages. And I have started by going ahead and cut all my fabrics for the treat bag. And uh, we're gonna end up with this, a panel on both sides when we're done. So first off, we wanna take our panels and our smaller rectangles from the main fabric, and we wanna sew them above and below. We're gonna be pressing away from the panel square. So sewing these on with your scant quarter inch seam. And then when we're done with that, we're gonna do that with both panel squares. So we have two for each bag. Once we have that done, we're gonna add the spacing in between. We have the three by 15 and a half inch rectangles on the ends, and then we put the five and a half rectangle in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew these, and we're always gonna be pressing away from the panels again. So let me get to my sewing machine and sew these on. Now I finished step two by putting together the panel squares with the strips in between. So now we're gonna take the lining piece, the large lining piece, and uh, we're gonna sew that to the top like this. So I'm just gonna flip it on top here, right sides together. And you wanna pin it because it's a long piece. And then I'm gonna stitch this seam right here. Now I've sewn the pieces together. It's a large piece, so we're gonna turn it sideways here, and we're gonna fold it in half this way. So raw edges together. Now it's time to sew the whole outside edges of the bag, but we gotta remember to leave a little opening. I like to leave the opening here in the lining part. This is our lining. This is the outside of the bag. So what we wanna do is sew from this corner down here, all, all the way up here, and then leave about a four inch opening about here. And then we're gonna keep sewing all the way over and then all the way down on the other side. Just gonna throw some pins in here and we're ready to roll. Before I turn the bag right side out, I like to clip the corners, just do a little diagonal snip on the corners so we can kind of lay them better. And then all I'm gonna do is go inside that opening that I left and then turn the whole thing right side out. So now I have turned it right side out and now I'm gonna fold actually the outside of the bag inside the lining. So we're gonna just kind of clip or pinch along that center seam and then push that outside part of the bag inside. Uh, and then before we do anything, I just noticed we have the opening here. So I wanna go ahead and stitch that closed and then I'm gonna push the inside of, outside of the bag to the inside corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this real quick. So now, as you can see, I folded the outside of the bag to the inside and then I pressed the top edge here. Now what we wanna do, we wanna add a little top stitching on the edge, around the edge, just to keep it more sturdy. And you can decide if you wanna do on this one, I did a double 
stitch. Let me just show you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the outside of the bag before we finish it off by boxing the corners. So as you can see, I have top stitch. I did a double top stitch around the edge, but I'm gonna leave the bag like this with the, wrong, with the lining out. And now we're gonna box the corner. So what you wanna do is fold out the, so this is the bottom of the bag. We wanna fold it so that this bottom seam gets aligned with the side seam. There's only gonna be one side seam. So make sure you go with your fingers in here tuck them so that they are aligned like this and then this depends how much um, how much of a box you want on the bottom of your bag we did a small one on this because we didn't want it too too uh, deep I, I, or too short so the wider the box the shorter the bag but it's um, thicker so I'm just gonna do Mine add about an inch and three fourths, or inch and a half actually, inch and a half is probably gonna be perfect. So you just wanna have some kind of marking tool to mark where you're gonna stitch right across. And since we have all the edges finished here, you can just go ahead, I'm just gonna clip this so it stays in place. You can actually go ahead and just leave this in the inside of the bag. It's not really gonna matter. You don't have to cut it off or anything. If you want to, you can cut it off and of course zigzag it, but I just leave it since it's all edges are finished and it really doesn't matter that much. So just wanna mark the same inch and a half on this side. And clip that one too, and I'm gonna stitch right across. All right, so now two corners are boxed, and now we can flip it again, put the right side out of the bag and push out the corners. And there it is. So our last step is just adding some handles. So we're going to take our strip that we cut for the handles, which is a two and a half inch strip. It's a full width strip, so we want to go ahead and fold it lengthwise, right sides together, and then just stitch along the edge with a quarter inch seam and then turn the whole side right side out. Now, a little tip because we're gonna need two handles about 18 inches, it's actually easier to turn it if it's shorter, so I just cut the strip in half and stitch it together. And then here's a little time-saving trick about turning. I actually took a little strip of fabric and or you can do ribbon, you could do a little salvage piece and you sew it in the middle in the center of this strip and then you just sew it straight across the edge. Then you can really just pull this strip as you turn the piece and it makes it so much easier to turn. So once you've turned it, you wanna give it a good press um, give it a good press and then I trim them down to 18 inches though so th these are not a fully 18 inches so, uh, they're actually longer because your strip is at least 42 so then you can do two things either tuck the raw edges inside like I did on this side just tuck them in and give it a good press or you can just fold it back a quarter inch like this and clip it so we are gonna be attaching this to the bag anyway and stitching on top of it so it really doesn't matter so now it's just time to see where you want your handles to be positioned and so what we want to do is place it approximately four inches apart or so but you can really decide how what way you want it so 
Um, I always make sure that I lay my handle right side up because I have a seam on the back and so that I'm not twisting the handle. I want to place it, see where I want to place it. And once I'm happy with the placement, I always measure because I want to make sure that I am, I am going to be doing the exact same on the other side. So let's see. This one is just, it's a uh, four and a quarter. So let me move it in just a little bit, but I also want to make sure I center it. And the easiest way to center it actually is folding. So I, I can always measure by these seams here so I can fold it in half find my center and then just put a little mark with my chalk or erasable pen or something and then I can just measure two inches from from the line that's where one of the handles I want the one of the handles to be put a pin in that and then switch it and do the other side there. And you want to make sure that you're also positioning them equal lengths down. And so you do that on both sides of the bag. And then the finishing step is stitching a, I usually do a square or rectangle all the way around the edge, this top stitch on top, and then I do an X through. So let me show you here on the bag that we finished. It's a little bit of a rectangle, so all the way around, and then an X to really secure it on both sides. So we want to do that on both sides, and then your bag is ready to be used and filled with Halloween treats. <laughs>